We're here with Ken Oliver, who has some really great collections, brand new. We have some bright colors in front of yes. us. Can you tell us about these two new collections? Oh, I'm really excited about both of these. The first one that we're gonna look at is watercolor, and the second one is pitter patterns. The watercolor collection is amazing. You'll see it's very vibrant colors, all taken from uh, photographs of real flowers and watercolor to give you these beautiful, beautiful backgrounds. The backgrounds are perfect for scrapbook layouts, for card making, even for mixed media projects. Absolutely. I love the colors in these papers. And you know, watercolor is everywhere these days as mixed media is getting more uh, important mm -hmm. and we're like starting to do more mixed media projects. Uh, this is perfect. So if you don't have the time to actually watercolor your own backgrounds, uh, we created these so that you can get that beautiful watercolor look without going through uh, the hassle of getting out the water and the paints to do it all. And and it looks, I'm not gonna oh. lie, better than what I would have done if I was gonna oh. watercolor, so it's all done for you. The patterns are absolutely beautiful. Let me show you the first, I told you the first side is very vibrant. We've done a muted palette on the back side. So if you like to use something that's a little more subtle, that's available to you. Or if you want to use these in conjunction, you can actually cut, fussy cut something out then and bump it up on the reverse side. For, you know, like a, it's a, actually pretty brilliant to, yeah. to do that in oh. two different tones. I, I love the way these look. And all of the all of the images are just beautiful. There are calla lilies, there are tiger lilies with sunflowers. And you know, the thing about this, the colors are so vibrant. Parrot tulips. Mm -hmm. Oh, beautiful. they're gorgeous. And you said these are actual images of flowers, of real That have flowers. been right, that have been watercolored. Very cool. This is very beautiful, watercolor rose. Oh, I absolutely love this. Isn't that beautiful? And see how this will work is if you want to use this like as a background for a card, you would simply layer your cardstock on top of this and then you'll get that beautiful watercolor yeah, background you know, look. Yeah. Right. But you didn't have to take the time to water, actually watercolor the background. It's beautiful. And I think that the results are going to be amazing. Definitely. So whether you use the vibrant side or the tonal side that's a little more subtle. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, too. the results are going to be amazing. I really think that you're going to love using this for like a lot of projects, whether it's card making or scrapbook or mixed media layouts. And we, really, this can go for every day. Oh, absolutely. Layouts, just every day. It goes all across. It could all be a thank you topics. card, a, a, a Mother's Day card. It could be any kind of project. Just because the colors are so beautiful, they lend themselves really to every occasion or to anything that you want to create. Love that. And in this, we also have six by six watercolors. So they're scaled down. So if you want to use them for cards or for smaller projects, they're perfect. And again, we have the vibrant color palette on the front and the really muted color palette on the back. They're absolutely beautiful. And of course, we have an ephemeral line with this. The ephemeral line is beautiful, it has small labels and small floral images. These are perfect for embellishments or you could even cut these down and use them in jewelry pieces. There's a beautiful lot of jewelry. things you could do with this. They're absolutely beautiful. The extension of this is called a pitter pattern. This line is part of watercolor, but it's also like a background that you would use. And these are very strong geometric shapes. You will see that it have repetition. Repetition, it's a strong geometric shape that's repeated over and over. And for a background, you'll see like how beautiful this would be for a background. Definitely, so if you're using it as, yes. a, as a layer in a card making or as a layer behind something that you've die cut on a scrapbook layout, it's very, very beautiful. And it's just striking. It's Let a me striking ask, are pattern. Are the colors supposed to go along then yes. with the Absolutely. watercolor? So you can mix and match these. Absolutely. Yep, the right. color palette is exactly the same. They're the same like tone of a tonal a color so families. So you can see great. how beautiful that is uh, laid top on that. All the colors match. And it just kind of pulls out some yeah. of those colors. Yeah. It's really striking. It's great. And we use the same uh, theory on this with having a very vibrant color palette on the front with a much more muted color palette on the back. Let's take a look at some of the other patterns you have here. Oh, they're well. beautiful. Really cool. This is sunset palette. So in this you have all the beautiful colors of the sunset, but they're kind of broken down into geometric um, designs. 
Uh, this is beautiful, azure waters. It's very blue, you know, like it gives you that Caribbean feeling, you know, even when you look at it, it feels very tropical and no, very, very lush. <laughs> uh, this one, aqua print, also very um, water inspired colors. Mm -hmm. This one's beautiful, tattered stripe. Just very, very nice. And when you, like, you'll see whenever you start to use these layering with other patterns and other papers, they're absolutely beautiful. And then the last one here is a block print style and kaleidoscope. And you can see the, like, the watercolor detail on that. Yes, definitely. So it kind of pulls the two collections together. It you does. can use them separate yeah. or, you can or use together. Them together. Right. So, genius. Well, thank you so thank much you. for sharing. We love these new collections and we look forward to sharing even more with you guys at Blitzy.